Hey guys, welcome back to Simon Says DIY. It's only been a little over a year since I've poured this driveway and you can see it's already so filthy from the red clay around here. So I'm gonna buy a cheap electric pressure washer and see if it's worth it to buy one of these and do it yourself or if you should just pay someone to do it with a more powerful pressure washer. So stick around and see how it goes. The pressure washer we decided to go with was from Lowe's, made by Greenworks, and this pressure washer is electric, and it has 1800 PSI, and it currently is on sale for 129. Normal price is 179, so it was a great time to buy it and a good deal. We didn't want to have to worry about keeping another engine running and stabilizing the gas over the winter when it's not being used and we'll be using this sporadically so we don't want to have to worry about getting it running each time we can just plug it in and go. So electric is a great option for us and it is quite a bit cheaper than the typical gas powered pressure washer. Now the setup for the pressure washer wasn't too hard. It came in a few pieces, but following the directions were really simple. And I think about 10 minutes of setup and it was ready to go. It has a really nice sleek design to it. It has a place for everything, which is nice. Pieces don't get lost and you can keep everything on this really nice cart that they have the pressure washer mounted on. With two wheels, you can wheel it around wherever you need to go. Works really well. All right, so it comes with four different sprayers. This one is the turbo. This will kind of have a, a spiral jet spraying out the end. This is for applying soap. So there's really no nozzle on it. It won't have much pressure at all. It's for just spraying and applying soap onto things. This is for recommended car uses. So the degree of angle on this will be a 40 degree spread for washing cars. Then this one's more focused at a 20 degree. So I'll test those out, see which ones work best for this sort of thing. Now, down here, there's a tank for soap. I'm not gonna use this today. My driveway doesn't need soap to clean it, but this might be nice for cleaning off your house. If there's mold or mildew on it, you could spray some bleach or soap on to clean it off before you pressure wash it. It also might be nice to spray soap on your car while you clean that. So. I could test that out sometime, but on this side, you'll hook up your hose from the house or wherever you're supplying your water from. And on this side, you hook up your hose for the sprayer. Other than that, just the hose, the hose to go to the sprayer. On the back here is a plug that you will plug into the electric. Now the plug has a really nice tripping feature that if this does get wet, it should trip. It won't electrocute someone. That fuse will trip. You'll just hit the reset button and just turn it back on. Now you do want to keep this away from where you're spraying. You don't want to get water on the cords if at all possible. Now when you get started, you don't want to turn on the pressure washer until you have run the water through the system. There's a lot of air bubbles in there as well as the hose that you're turning on. So you want to make sure that you run all of that out before you turn on the pressure washer. Now this process should only take about 30 seconds depending on how long your hose is. Now here's the driveway that we're going to be cleaning. You can see the red has stained the driveway and this clay is really hard to get out of stuff. So it's gonna be quite a big job for the pressure washer to clean this up. My shop is down behind the house, so sometimes I have to drive down around back with my truck, and when I come back up, I track all that mud and clay up onto the driveway. Now I'm gonna test out the four different tips to show you how they work. This first one is just a soap application. It has no power at all, it just sprays soap. This one has a 40 degree, so this is for cars, a more gentle spray. This one's more concentrated at a 20 degree spray for brick as well as fences. And this one is the turbo. This is supposed to be the most concentrated, have the most power, but it doesn't work as fast as the other ones. So my favorites, if you need concentrated spray, is the turbo. You can see how that works. It spins around and focuses a very powerful single stream 
at the target and cleans it off really powerfully. Now this doesn't go that fast if you have a lot of space to cover, so I actually like the 40 degree angle for large projects like a cement driveway. It cleans it off decently well and it cleans off a wider strip that's easier to cover, large spaces, takes less time. So this is what I'm gonna stick with for a large driveway like this. Now if I need more concentrated spray on any hard stains, I can always come back with the turbo if needed. Now one thing I will mention that I don't like about this pressure washer is these fittings where the hoses are attached to the pressure washer, they seem weak. They have a little bit of wobble to them. They don't leak, but you don't want to go pulling a ton of pressure on the hoses. So what I do is I grab the two hoses with one hand when I need to move everything around and that holds all the pressure. You can pull with that one hand and easily just wheel the cart without putting any pressure on those weak fittings. Now to start cleaning off the driveway, I'm gonna work from one side to the other. And if you have a slant at all in the cement that you're cleaning off, you're gonna to wanna to work from the top down. That way the muddy, dirty water isn't running down over the clean driveway that you've already cleaned. Now I have a very slight hill tilting down towards the back of the driveway, so it works out perfectly. Just start up at the road and wash everything downhill. This pressure washer does have plenty of power. It is cutting through the red stains from the clay and cleaning off all the dirt and making the cement almost look new. Now a project like this will take you quite a bit of time. It took about two and a half hours from start to finish, including setting up and tearing everything back down. So not too bad, but it still could save you quite a bit of money by doing something like this yourself. Now you can see the power of this pressure washer cutting through not only the dirt on top, but all the deep stains that have soaked into the concrete as well. Now this pressure washer did have some of the best ratings that we could find online, and it now it's completely understandable. I would recommend this pressure washer to anybody. This has a great price for what you're getting, and you can easily save some money by getting this and doing it yourself. Now we definitely will be using this to wash our cars, our house, our decks when they need to be restained, as well as the fence. It will be really handy to have on hand. It already has paid for itself, just pressure washing this driveway. To have someone come out and do this can cost anywhere from $150 to $300 to have them just spray off a pressure washer driveway. If you're interested in seeing how we pour this driveway ourselves, go check out the video I posted up in the top right corner. There's a link, you can click on that and go to that video there. Now I'm just about finished with the driveway. I really wouldn't change much about this fresh washer except two things. I already mentioned before, the fittings on the side seem a little weak where the hoses are attached to. I'm afraid that those will eventually leak if I put pressure on those. So I, I'm just gonna be careful holding onto the hoses when I need to move the pressure washer around. Other than that, I'd love to have a valve on the soap dispenser. That way I can shut off the soap and turn it back on. The way it's set up now, you just use it until the soap's gone. So basically you have to put in just enough soap so that you can rinse it off once you're done. That's a little tricky. I'm gonna test that out a few times and see what I can do. But that's the only thing that I would really change about this pressure washer. Everything else works exactly as expected or even better than expected. Now the driveway's just about cleaned off. I'm gonna come back to a few stains and try to get them up, but there are some stuff that isn't gonna come out of the concrete. If you have any oil stains, my old truck that I used to have parked here leaked pretty bad engine oil as well as transmission. So there are a few oil stains on the concrete that's not gonna come up, but all the red stains have been cleaned. This pressure washer did a great job, and now the driveway almost looks new again. All right, that just about finishes up the project for today. If you liked this video or found it helpful, hit that like button down below and help me out. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I upload a new video each week and you can see the latest DIY project each week. If you hit that subscribe button, you won't miss out on those videos. 
This was a great test for this pressure washer, showcase some of its power that it can clean. The red clay before picture here, it's really hard to clean up. Red clay gets stuck on everything and stains really badly. So this has done a fabulous job. In my opinion, I would give this pressure washer a four and a half or five stars out of five.